Hi, thank you for joining me today. And in today's process video, I'm going to be using Schmel's main character energy to scrap some photos of Amelia from back in 2014. She was at my nephew's eighth birthday party and it was a dressing up party at a soft play area. So <laughs> she's um, having fun swinging on some bars and I just really like these photos. So you can see I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers circle tool to cut a couple of circles from some scrap papers that I've pulled out. I've started with the blue because obviously there's a lot of blue in the photos and then I'm using this pink heart paper. Now ideally I would have had the hearts facing upwards but um, I had to go sideways because that's the way the paper was. It doesn't bother me too much, it's absolutely fine how it is. So I decided to use my double-sided tape to stick these down today. No rhyme or reason, <laughs> just trying something different today. So just adding some around the edge and then some across that strip that will go on the left-hand side of my cardstock base. And it's just white cardstock that I'm using for my base per usual. So just getting that stuck down and then I can add the pink on top. And I'm going to offset it as I usually do. So I'll have it towards the bottom of the page and then the photos can go across, more or less across the middle of the page. It's been a while since I've played with main character energy. I got this collection when it first came out. And as with all things, you know, you put it to one side while you play with shiny new toys. <laughs> but I thought it'd be time to pull it out. And I've created a few layouts now with this collection. It's so, so versatile. You'll see that over the coming days as you see the different layouts that I've created using it. It really is wonderful. So the photos have been printed three by four. I printed two on a four by six photo paper using the Project Life app. So I did have to trim them down ever so slightly. When you use that Project Life app, if you're using UK photo paper, one of the photos prints out slightly smaller. So I always try, tend to print, trim the second one down slightly so that they're the same size and that's width wise that they're um, trimmed down slightly. So now just cutting this so that I've got that lovely white border and that just creates um, separation between the photo and the layers that I'll put underneath it, the pattern paper. It just makes the photo stand out a bit more. So I'm going through the ephemera pieces and these are there are some cut aparts and I fussy cut some items in here. It's just my tub of bits. And I really wanted to pull out these blue butterflies. They stood out to me straight away and I thought they would be fun to use. Some of them are from the ephemera, the one with the white border around it in the bottom left hand corner is from the ephemera pack. And then that other one with the gold foiling is actually um, fussy cut from one of the papers. Decided I wanted to distress the edges of the circle. So I'm just running around that with my fingernails. Obviously, if you were recreating this, do that with a pair of scissors or an edge distresser before <laughs> you start sticking everything down. I always think of things after the effect. I've also pulled out that title that says, You Make Me Smile. Again, I'm trying to, when I go through ephemeral pieces, so that I don't spend hours creating a layout. If I find something that works, I just stop with that. I do it with, photo, with papers and also with um, the ephemeral pieces. So again, I just saw this dotty paper and I thought that will work nicely as a mat behind the photo. It's not quite big enough to cover the full photo, but that's fine. I like having different size mats behind my photos anyway. You'll have seen, I do enjoy layering if you've watched me before. And then I pulled out this sunshine paper. Again, there's plenty of yellow in these photos, so that works really nicely with them. So just adding a mat behind this one. And um, the other one, I'll have that little file card behind so I didn't want to add any layers behind that but then when I stick them both together I will add a little bit more just to build things up. So just gluing that down to that file folder and then getting them two together deciding which way to do them. Just checking that that's straight it wasn't very straight I was thinking about offsetting it but decided to go straight in the end. Adding this piece to the bottom and in fact Looking at the layout now, I think all of that gets covered. <laughs> but it's a process, isn't it? The yellow doesn't get covered. I do add that there. But then I realise that I've got the same paper layered on top of it, each other, on the left photo and the right photo. So I will add some more layers to resolve that shortly. So just getting that glued down and then distress the edges again. And that's where it sort of bridges the gap between the two photos and brings them together as one piece. So this is one of the labels from the printables that we sell at Hey Little Magpie. Um, it's the collection designed to coordinate with this collection. 
So just sticking that at the top and distressing those edges as I say. Almost there. And just checking that I'm still happy with that title with those colours that I've chosen. And I am, it looks really nice and it brings some other colours into the layout as well. So a lot of faffing, <laughs> deciding what to do next. And I decide that I want to have a banner piece across the bottom underneath the photos, um, just to draw your eye across the page, away from their circles and towards the pictures. So just adding a little fishtail at the end here. I just slice down the middle with my scissors and then join the, the edge point to the bottom of the slice that I've cut. I find that the easiest way. You can also fold the paper and cut a triangle out. So now gluing the title down. I haven't actually stuck the photos down yet. I'm just deciding what else to do. Decided on another layer. This green works really nice to provide a differential between those pale colours and the um, circles. Just making sure that it's straight at the edge and then again distressing those edges. So deciding where I want that banner to go and then I'll distress the edges and get that down. I'm just deciding where those photos are going to go. So there we go, the banner's now stuck to the photo block. Still not sticking the photos down yet because I still want to have the option to add things before I commit. Just deciding roughly where I want those butterflies to go. I know I want to use them, but I have no idea at the moment how they're going to go. So I keep just having a little faff in between doing other things. So onto the six by 12 sticker sheet and I pulled out that little tab that's going at the top that says, love this. And then I find this little word phrase that says, I can do it because obviously she's swinging on those rings trying to pull herself along. So <laughs> I thought that was quite cute. A little gold star next to the title. And another one at the top there. And one at the bottom. And I'm getting pretty close to sticking this layer down now. I find this little half circle that says now and I really like that. So I'm just going to pop that underneath that tab. I think that works nicely. So I want to use this rick rack, um, the gold foiled rick rack, but I decide that I want to layer it underneath that banner piece. So I'm just going to stick everything down now so that I can get that um, layered where I it's positioned exactly where I want it because it will be stuck down to the base. So again, fiddling with those butterflies. <laughs> but they really don't need to be decided about now. But I do stick that one down to that bottom corner in this one here. Ah, oh, and indeed, yep, yeah, <laughs> I do stick all three of them down at this point. So there you go. So here's the bit rack. And like I say, I just wanted to tuck it underneath that bottom banner. So just fiddling and it's exactly the right size. When does that ever happen? <laughs> So just get, making sure that it's just the bottom bumps that you see. And I love the look of that. I love the look of that on clothes as well. So I think that's where the inspiration came from. So a couple of these blue flowers. I just want to carry on embellishing now. I'm just adding some glue behind these stickers because I noticed they're not sticking terribly well. And if they're not sticking now, they certainly won't in a couple of years time. So time to get those stuck down properly. thinking about using this sticker butterfly, but it doesn't quite work there. So I'll come back to that. I do end up using it on the layout, but not where I put it there. Bringing that blue across to the right, using this little floral sticker, just tucking it under the bottom right hand corner and also underneath that title as well. And then another little blue flower there. And now these foam, <laughs> I have a love hate relationship with these foam stickers. They're beautiful, but you have to be so careful when you're pulling them up, the backing paper comes up. Um, if you bend them too much, then obviously the the glitter comes off the the glitter paper comes off the foam. So just be very careful when you're pulling these off, and make sure that you keep the sticker flat and manipulate the backing paper. So I put that little camera there on the right hand side, and I've got the gold butterfly at the top next to that blue butterfly, and I'm just finding something else to put in that third cluster at the bottom left, and I choose this little flower. So just adding the centre to that flower as well. And then back to these stickers, I find this one that says celebrate life because she was definitely living her best life that day. <laughs> they both had a whale of a time. It was a wonderful party. 
So adding um, a little gold dot to the bottom there just to bring that gold a little bit further. And then these gorgeous wood epoxies. So um, one that says star underneath that butterfly is also blue, so that works perfectly. Um, a little gold star at the top there, just a little jewel type star and at the bottom. And then another epoxy on the right hand side next to that camera. I'm just It's another blue one with the flower. So that works nicely there. And I love these different dimensions and textures that you get from using all these different bits and pieces. So a little tab of ribbon, um, an orange one, just to bring that orange over to the right hand side. And I'll just tuck that in at the bottom in that cluster there. Definitely one of my favourite things to do at the moment, using these little ribbon tabs. So I'm just going to add some journaling. It's just what I said before. It just says, fun at soft play in Wollstone for George's eighth birthday, where he asked you all to dress up. And then I'll add the date to that tab on the right hand side of the photo. Here's my roller date stamp, of course. Just checking that I had the date the right way around. I had a little um, panic there that I got it the wrong way around. And then I've just pulled out a pre-made wax seal here. It's a little one with a, a bow tied around it, almost like a present. And it's in the same orange that's in these this collection so just colouring in the bow with gold just to make it stand out more. I love using wax seals on my layouts. Just takes a little while to add that gold you need to do a couple of layers and then back to the ephemera pack and straight away I spot this little half frame I've used the other half on a previous layout and I just think that will bridge that gap nicely between the tab of the file folder that I've used as my layering piece and that bottom cluster and that just finishes it off really nicely there. So I was very happy with that. And there's a little stitching detail on there as well, which looks sweet. And then um, another one of those labels from the printables from Hey Little Magpie, just as a grounding piece really for the other bits that I'm putting down here. I've got a few fussy cut flowers and then that I'm going to bring in shortly that butterfly sticker <laughs> that I'd faffed about with so much. So first of all, just playing with some flowers. I don't end up with these two. I don't like the leaves on them um, when I try to layer them, but then I do find another piece that's been cut from the edge of the paper and it just tucks neatly underneath that circle there. So adding that with the peach flower finishes that bit off nicely. I know that that blue one's not right, but just having a play, deciding where to put it, but it, it doesn't make it in the end. So just gluing those down and then this is where I pull that butterfly and just stick that down at the bottom there. So it just completes that um, vertical line that I've got of butterflies going up the page. I love this little bird so he had to go on as well and it's blue so it matches nicely. Um, I think about putting him on the right hand side there but it's just a little bit too heavy so I end up moving him to the top next to that lovely this tab and I like that. So finally, some gold splatters, just to finish it off. I just felt it needed it today. So just shielding the photo with my hand and adding a couple just around those photos. And that's it done. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed this. Have you been using your main character energy recently? Do pull it out. It's a wonderful collection. I'll see you again soon. Bye.